recorded live with little or no editing. It's Cosmic Crucible edition of Defense Up. I'm Run7. How you doing? Today, we're going over Hulk Smith's defense. He's got at least one interesting team, which I think is this one, and some tweaks that need to be done to a few more. We're going to be going through this. Pathfinder Gaming was on voice and chat was helping me out behind the scenes. If you want to join us Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we do that live on Twitch. Links are in the description below. And if you don't like any of these recommendations, I will pass that along to Pathfinder Gaming because you know I don't make mistakes. <laughs> All right. Uh, whoops, I just made a mistake. There we go. All right, the buttons are working now. All right, team number one is a Dark Hunter team with Hela and Zim. Now, the idea here is that Zim is not a summoned character. He is revived by Hela, which means that, uh, that Kestrel will not kill him. Kestrel will, however, kill Greg right away, but that's okay. What we want here is for Zim to get killed over and over and over, and Ghost Rider will do his retaliation because Zim is not a summoned character. He's not a minion. He's he's a he's a real he's a real character, like Pinocchio. He's a real boy. Okay. But he's a very underpowered character, which is great because that's a seven red star ghost rider slapping fools down every time Zim dies. So what we need to do is swap places with ghost rider and Zim, get dead Tony in the middle there so that he has a chance to take a hit. This might be a pretty interesting team. I'm actually considering using this on my own defense and trying it out. However, I would suggest that you only use this if you have a fully stacked offense and you're going very light on defense. I'm going very light on, on defense so that I can use a fully stacked offense and I never use my undying team in Crucible. They're a very powerful tool that you can use on offense, probably better used on offense, but I just don't get around to it because I've got six, seven other teams that are way better than them. So I kind of like this. I want the placement tweak. The ISOs are fine. I'm going to go A minus on this. I'd actually grade it a little bit lower, but this is kind of unique and different. Uh, I like it. Okay, team number two is the Infinity Watch. It's done right. It gets an A. We're going to move on. Over here, we have the Underworld team with Doc Ock in place of Nobu. There's a seven red star green goblin. Remember, red stars don't make a bad character better. They make a bad character bigger. And I don't think that green goblin is a good character at all. The best thing he does is spawn in with that defense down, which can't be resisted on the other team. <clears throat> You've got Taskmaster as a skirmisher assisting the other members of the underworld all the time. So the fact that we've got more strikers than people putting up vulnerables is okay. This works out pretty well. Doc Ock is in here doing some healing and deflex, and I don't think he's a great attribute to this team. I don't think he should be replaced with Nobu. I think we should remove that back row and put in Zemo and Red Skull. I think they're going to add a lot of speed to this team and make it a lot tougher. Also, this team is another good use for offense. However, I think Hulk Smith's already got a pretty good offense because this is a little bit of a light defense. So... Not too much done wrong here. I just don't like the, the team composition. I'd like to see two different people put in in place of these guys. I'm going to go with a B plus. This doesn't really excite me. But then again, Doc Ock's getting to be a pretty old character. They gave him a new costume and that just doesn't really excite me either. So let's get rid of that back row. Remember, the underworld does have some spider mania synergy. So even if we were to replace those with Zim, I'm sorry, Zemo and Red Skull, you'd still have negative and Kingpin with the tag that would give them some synergy in this room. So that's cool, too. Moving on to room number four, latent power. Yeah, it's uncanny, but we don't like the ISOs. The only time you want to put Skirmisher on Colossus is when you have a bunch of T4s in him. He'll give himself counterattack, and then he will apply vulnerable when he counterattacks. If he doesn't have those T4s, when you attack into him, he does not apply vulnerable. It's not him retaliating. The idea is that his skin is made of metal, and people are hurting their fist when they punch him. So they take some damage when they attack him. He isn't retaliating. So I'm guessing that Colossus doesn't have the T4s, but I will give Hulk Smith the benefit of the doubt and not dock him for that one. If you don't have the T4s in him, just make him a fortifier so he's a little tougher to get through. I like uh, Cyclops as a raider for the crit damage, and I definitely want to see Magic as a striker. She's much better there, <clears throat> especially in, when she's got some teal gear put on her. That's, that skirmisher tag is, is doing nothing for her. She doesn't need the focus. 
I like Storm as a raider for the crit damage. A lot of people like to put her as a skirmisher, but I think when you pair her with magic and or beast, she gets enough charges that she doesn't really need the focus. So raider's probably the right way to go there. All in all, it's a pretty good team. The placement's okay. The ISOs are what need to be fixed. I'm gonna go B minus on this one. Team number five is the YA. Pathfinder really doesn't like this on defense. I like to use them on offense. They've got a lot of utility left in them. Every once in a while, even though I just moved up to Diamond 2, humble brag there, I do still come across like an Axemen team, and these guys are great for taking down Axemen. However, if you're gonna put them on defense, don't use Miles in Crucible, you lose some of the benefit. This is a thing you do in War because you take America Chavez off of the team, put her on some other defense to speed them up, like an Eternal Super Speed team or something, and then you put Miles in here because he's got that synergy as a young Avenger, plus he can be a striker and, and pair up with Miss Marvel and stuff. So if you're gonna go this route, first off, don't do it in Crucible, but if you're gonna go this route, you'd wanna go Miss Marvel, then Miles, then Echo, then Squirrel Girl, and then Kate Bishop. It makes the targets for your A-Force counter. There's some chain attacks in there and they go awry when you, you know, you're targeting Squirrel Girl and it could go either way and you're targeting Miss Marvel and it's blocked by Invisible Miles, things like that. Honestly, the best thing to do is get America Chavez back in here. I'd still like to see Miss Marvel and Squirrel Girl swap places with Kate and Echo. That way, even on a full YA comp, you've got a, a different chain setup going on there. All in all, the, the ISOs are fine. I don't like this placement, and I kind of want this team on offense. So all in all, I think it's pretty bad. I'm going to go C plus on this one. Let's do something entirely different with this YA team. All right, now we're on to the Axemen in six. Tales of Legends, Jubilee getting that bonus. So maybe we leave her as a striker and switch Bishop to a skirmisher. I don't know why Katie is a, uh, why Kitty is a striker. That's a terrible idea. Red Star's all around this team. They're all sluggers. So let's either make Bishop the striker or Jubilee the striker and everybody else skirmisher. That's the way to go on defense. On offense, I like Beast as a healer so you can spam the heal button. They're going with the Benny West side placement here. That's Bishop in the middle with Beast and Jubilee on the outside, hoping that they take damage and adjust the speed of this team. Personally, I just like putting Bishop off to the side next to Iceman, next to Kitty, next to whoever. That's probably the way to go. So, way too many strikers on this team. I'd like to see Beast also change to a skirmisher. Pick your hitter, either Jubilee or Bishop. Make that one a striker. Everybody else skirmishers for those double taps. And if you like this placement, that's fine. I think that's user choice. I prefer something else. But I'm not going to dock it because I hear good things about this placement. By the way, Pathfinder doesn't like this placement either. But whatever. Benny's a smart guy. He knows what he's doing. And he says it's great. I'm going to give this team... I really hate all those strikers. One skirmisher and all those strikers. That just doesn't work out very well. So I'm gonna give this team a C. I think there's a lot of wasted ideas going on here. All those ISOs are a mess, a lot of wasted ions. Kitty never should have been a striker in the first place. All right. If you're interested about this team and you think you're gonna try it out or you think it sucks and you wanna warn me off, then leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on it because I'm kind of curious how this is gonna play out. Remember guys, don't just have a good game, be good to yourselves and others too, and I'll see you next time, bye.